Hey everyone, welcome to Meal Prepping 101. My name is Michaela Evers. I am a beach body coach, and it is my job to help you get to your goals using some of the beach body programs. Um, one thing that I'm proud of and something that I love to do is, is do the programs with you. I am still brand new in my fitness journey. It's something that I've been working on for a long time and I like to share some of the tips and tricks that I find along the way, the struggles that I go through, and kind of share with you some things that I find that make our lives easier trying to incorporate a healthy lifestyle and a busy lifestyle. So I am about to start the 22 Minute Hardcore program and it does go with the, the 21 Day Fix of course is famous for their containers and it's supposed to focus on portion control. And I didn't realize I had a problem with portion control until I actually had to implement it into my everyday eating. And when you're on the go, like me, I'm constantly traveling. None of my days are ever the same. I really don't know if I technically have a routine. So the best thing to do is prepare for the week ahead. And you have to do a week at a time because if you're like me, your weeks change and food can only stay good for so long. So we are going to focus on this coming week. It is an odd week. We are starting our challenge today, which is a Wednesday. And I have a graduation party to go to, kind of looking at my week ahead. Uh, and I know that we are, uh, it's going to be a little bit sporadic. So I'm planning for that. And I might also be unique because I really don't mind eating the same meals over and over again, which is handy for uh, meal prepping. But I think the one meal that I struggle with the most is lunch. So I'm going to focus on prepping for my lunches. Uh, I will share what I will make for, for breakfast, for snacks, and for dinner. But lunches are the one thing that I think I stray from the most, especially with portion sizes. So the first thing you need to do is if you're doing 22 Minute Hardcore, if you're doing any other program, um, or if you're just happening to be watching and you're not doing a Beachbody program, this is still really good for you, but I'm gonna focus on the containers. The first thing you need to do in any of your programs that follow the containers, you need to see how many you're eating a day. For the 22 Minute Hardcore, they do it in rations to kind of go with the military theme. And I am in the first plan. So every day I get three vegetable containers, three of these. I get four protein containers, four of these. I believe two fruit containers, two of these guys. And two carb containers, two of these. And then I also get one healthy fat, which is one of these guys. And whoops. And these are the seeds and dressings. Um, so this is, I get one of these as well. And then I get three teaspoons of oils, nuts, and butters. Now that all scared me when I first started reading it because I hate counting. I hate counting calories, I hate counting um, portion sizes, I hate even counting meals, um, but I thought, you know what, it's the system, let's give it a whirl and let's try it. And once you actually figure it out, like I'm going to show you, it's not that bad. So I went ahead and went through our pantry and our refrigerator. I didn't specifically shop for meal prepping. Uh, I This is just kind of what we eat on a daily basis. It's always important to me to eat things that are as least processed as possible, uh, eat as many fruits and vegetables and whole foods in their most pure form as possible. And that's a great way of starting if you're uh, just starting off learning how to eat healthy. Um, with this, what, with what I try to eat, um, I try to cut sugar, all any added sugar out of our diet. I don't drink milk or have cheese anymore. Uh, yogurt is limited. Butter, limited if it, if it is organic. Uh, we also don't, uh, I don't eat any red meat anymore. I try to stick with lean protein uh, with chicken or fish, lots of eggs. Um, and that's pretty much kind of the way I eat. Nothing deep fried, of course. And I season everything with all sorts of different season, uh, seasonings and salt and peppers and garlic is one of my favorites. So today, to focus on our lunches, I'm going to be making grilled chicken breasts with all natural uh, 
uh, I'm going to do probably the either I'll probably do the quinoa brown rice uh, as well as the uh, garlic garlic uh, broccoli. Really excited for that. So I'll be taking you through that process and showing you how I'm also prepping for my snacks, which I am a grazer, so I like to eat all day. It's something that I really enjoy. I hate the feeling of being hungry, uh, and that's how we're going to get started. The first thing I like to do is lay out all of the foods that I have according to container. So the first group, and one of the most important groups, are veggies. So this is the green container. I have squash, tomatoes. I buy pre-cut celery because I'm lazy, but you can, to save money, you're more than welcome to buy a stalk of celery and cut it and clean it yourself asparagus, broccoli, spinach. Now, of course, I know there's a lot more vegetables on the food chain, of course, uh, but these are just the ones I like to buy. I tend to eat them, um, and there are a lot of power foods. Of course, moving to fruits, our purple container. I have strawberries, blueberries. I love clementines and oranges. Mango I bought because it was on a display. I'm not very good at cutting it, so that should be interesting. Uh, then, of course, I have apples and bananas. I like things that I can throw in my bag without having to prepare them. So bananas, apples, oranges are easy to throw in my bag when I go to work. For protein, red container, uh, we have, I like the Stonyfield Smooth and Creamy. Um, my husband is not a big fan of the texture of Greek yogurt, so I found this. This is plain. I like to eat this with honey, but that's yogurt. Of course, our Shakeology. We have eggs. I have our fish and our, chi our chicken. I like to buy the chicken. I go, if you have a Costco membership, they come in really large packets. Uh, and I freeze them. And so I just thawed these out last night. I'm going to throw them on the grill. Down to our carbs. Yellow container. One of my favorites are Quaker Oats. Old fashioned. Make sure they're rolled or old fashioned or still cut old fashioned. Because once you put in the quick oats or the minute oats, they have chemicals in them to help them cook faster. And it takes out all the nutrients. So old fashioned. Bare Naked, I love this. Granola, um, I think it has it just has sweetened with honey, which is really nice. Uh, these are also a time saver. I'm not really good at cooking rice, so these are also a good time saver. Uncle Ben's also has a good one. Uh, you just literally nuke them for 90 seconds. Microwavable sweet potato, a regular potato. And of course, bread. Now, I like to buy sprouted grains. Um, this is one that was on sale when I went to our local. Sprouted because instead of harvesting the grain before it's actually sprouted, as that's where white bread comes from, white bread has grains, but it's stripped and bleached. Uh, whole grains are just regular whole grains. Sprouted bread, wait for those whole grains to actually sprout. And they have a lot more health benefits, especially with vitamins and fiber a lot better for you. So I have our bread and our English muffins, sprouted green, and I keep them in the refrigerator because they do not have any preservatives to them. Healthy fats, that's the blue container. Uh, I really like coconut milk. It's one of my favorites. I just buy the 80 calorie one. This is hummus. This is also a really nice snack. Uh, throw in your blue container and I eat that with celery. Mixed nuts, this does not have any salt on it, or peanuts, but they are also very good. Avocados, also one of my favorites. And then cheese. Again, I'm not a very big cheese fan. Every once in a while I'll throw it in if I'm really feeling like it, but for some reason my body reacts. I kind of get bloated when I eat cheese. This is organic. So those are my food groups. And that's kind of what I've done to be able to help organize my mind since there's so much to throw in. And we're going to go ahead and focus on lunch. So like I said before lunch, I'm doing grilled chicken. I'm going to do garlic broccoli with our quinoa. We'll start with that. Continue with our preparation. I have my containers for my lunches all set out. I'm not fancy. They don't match. This isn't even my house. So <laughs> this is what Marsha, my mother-in-law, had. Um, I have, this is going to be for lunch for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then I have my bowl. I'm going to mix and cut up, cut up and clean with my vegetable cutting board. 
I'm going to cut up and clean my broccoli and have some olive oil with my chopped garlic and salt and pepper. That is all you need for the garlic broccoli. Uh, when I don't have the grill, yeah, I might even do it anyways, but if you don't have the grill, you can put it in your top rack on a cookie sheet and literally put it on broil or as hot as your oven will go and you only have to, uh, it kind of sears the edges of it. That is maybe two minutes, so that broccoli doesn't take very long. I'm probably going to make sure it's still crispy because of course throughout the week I will microwave them and that'll cook them even more. Vegetables when you just barely cook them or eat them raw is when they have the most nutrients to them. Cooking them takes out the nutrients, uh, so you always think of vegetables, you want them just a little crispy and or raw.